Hey, baby. I brought you food. <sighs> Don't look at me like that, okay? You know I can't stay on that expression on you. No, no. Don't look away. Hiding your face isn't going to make it any better. Here, look. I made you food. And you're going to eat it. I want you to sit down, and we're going to eat dinner. Got it? You've been refusing to eat with me ever since I brought you here. I'm starting to get worried about you, sweetheart. Now come over, sit with me. Oh, come on. I went out of my way to make this place nice for you. I got this cute little dinner table for the two of us to eat at, and this is how you thank me for it? All you ever do is sit by that goddamn window looking outside all day. I wouldn't be surprised if you tried opening it already, wanting to jump out and run away. But, as you probably figured out, I had a lock installed to avoid that exact thing from happening. <laughs> of course we'll open the window every now and again to let some fresh air in. I don't want you to suffocate in here, after all. But you're not ready for that just yet. For now, if you want to ventilate, you'll have to come into the other room with me. Okay? I don't want you going anywhere. And a jump from this height definitely wouldn't end too well for you. I don't know what's good for you, my sweet darling. You're still convinced that this whole situation is so terrible that you should try to escape, run away from me. But I won't let that happen. I can tell you've been thinking about it. At least you stopped trying to scream by now, but it still breaks my heart to see you like this. It's obvious you haven't gotten used to the new situation just yet. I suppose that's normal, but I know you will. Eventually. This sort of thing takes time. For most people, falling in love doesn't happen overnight. I know that. And I may not be the most patient, but for you... It'll be worth it. I know it's going to happen. I know you'll be mine soon enough. Because we're made for each other. I still remember the first time I saw your beautiful face. I instantly knew you were the one. Maybe it wasn't as obvious to you as it was to me, but I promise you'll realize it soon. Baby. You are everything I've wanted, my sweetest dreams personified. When I was a kid, I used to imagine what my future might look like, what kind of person I wanted to be, and whom I might end up with. And I always saw myself as someone who looked just like you. The first time you crossed my path, I knew. You were exactly what I had been searching for. It's almost scary just how absolutely perfect you are. <laughs> I still can't believe I actually met you. It's not just your looks. Even your personality was an exact copy of my fantasies. It feels so surreal to finally have you here with me. You're everything I wanted you to be. Everything I ever dreamed of. You are perfect, sweetheart. When we first started talking, you were always so sweet and nice and kind. We immediately agreed on so many things. <sighs> You're so perfect. Oh my god. I wanted you so badly. When I first heard the word from your mouth, ever since we started talking and eventually began hanging out, as I got to know you and we became friends. Fuck. I've been waiting. I've been longing for you, wanting more than anything else in the world to be with you. It felt like an eternity until I finally got you. All to myself. After all this time, you're finally here. Can you even imagine how agonizing it's been? Having to cling to that tiny fragment of hope that eventually you'd move in with me. That you'd realize how perfect we are. I mean, look around the room. All the things I've been gathering in here. Every time you mentioned something you liked or wanted, I got it for you. Bandai put it in here. Do 
you remember telling me about your favorite color, your favorite kind of fabric, whether you liked carpet and whatnot. Yeah, I memorized it. I'm not sure you noticed yet, but the mini fridge and snack drawers have all your favorite things in them. Everything you looked at for a second too long, only to tell me you shouldn't be getting it today. All the snacks you ate at home. The drinks you always ask your parents to buy. Everything. I carefully considered your preferences and aesthetic with every piece of furniture I bought for you, even the blankets and covers, the pillows, the clothing detergent, the room scent, every bit of decor, every tiny little item. It's all carefully picked out to make this place feel like home. It's even better than your room in your parents' house, isn't it? It's a little upsetting to see. You're not appreciating it yet. But I know you will. You just need a little time to get used to the new environment. It's just the shock. I know it is. Everything is new. I've spent days sitting here alone, wishing you would be laying on that bed, talking to me, hugging me when I come home. Playing with my hair as we watch movies. Kissing me. Oh, it's going to be perfect. You just need a little more time. Just a little more time. And you'll love it here. You'll love me. Look. Please, just come sit at the table with me. Sit down and have some food, okay? I made your favorite. And it's just the way you like it. I've been taking notes on what you said you like and don't like, and exactly how you enjoy your food. I've been practicing, too. So much. Cooking has never really been my strong suit, but since I know you like food, I just had to sit down and learn. For you. Somehow, it turned out really good. I've been constantly and rapidly improving ever since I first met you. I've gotten really damn good. It tastes almost perfect now. Exactly how you like it. Just give it a try. Please, baby. Look at me. I'm begging you. Look at me. I put so much effort into making something nice for you. Just please, come sit with me at least. You must be starving. You're almost making me feel bad, baby. But this is everything I've ever wanted. I don't want to get upset with you. I don't want to hurt you, okay? But you're getting me really frustrated right now. Just come over here and sit with me. Eat your goddamn food. I spent a lot of time preparing it for you, and you will be eating it right now in front of me, so I know that it's good, and I know that you like it. I just want you to appreciate what I've done for you, for us. So can you do that for me? There you go. Finally. It wasn't so terrible now, was it? <sighs> okay. I'm sorry, baby. This whole situation has been a bit stressful. I'm really happy you're sitting here with me. Thank you, hon. 